All right, so it is Saturday morning, or pretty much afternoon. It's only, or it's already 11 o'clock. Got a pretty slow start today. This was my spot right at the uh, south end of the Dempster Highway. And it's a nice open area. I mean, RVs could fit here, um, no problem. A couple of them, actually three or four. But I'm here all by myself. So last night, uh, wasn't quite sure how much of the Dempster I was gonna do. I ended up doing uh, the whole rest of it. I am gonna head into Dawson City. I need to get service, figure out my route, um, and I, I don't want to miss anything. Uh, there's a few things that I need to look at where they are and figure out how I'm going to get there the best way. That's my plan today. I'm really going to take it easy. I'll probably just end up on the other side of Dawson uh, tonight and then really get moving again tomorrow. So uh, that's it for now. Um, take a look and uh, see what Dawson City is all about. All right, I am in Dawson City, and I went to a little market back there just to see what they had. There's this uh, trail that runs along the Yukon River, so I decided to take a walk on it, and then what I'll do is I'll walk back up through town on the way back, but uh, it'd be a good way to just check things out, see what's going on around here and hopefully stop at a couple of stores, pick up some decals for the Jeep, and also at the visitor center to uh, try to decide what I wanna do while I'm here. But it's a nice, beautiful day outside, just partly cloudy. Uh, the weather's probably, I don't know, in the low 60s with the breeze. Sorry for the wind noise. But uh, yeah, so this behind me, this is a landmark right there. And that's actually not for mining. That was a, uh, a slide, actually, that happened. And when it did happen, there were two uh, tribes, the north and the south, or one from the south, that were uh, fighting. And the slide actually buried the people from the south. So there's a board back there about it. And uh, it's kind of interesting reading. But so to my other side is all this area here is like uh, shops and restaurants and then the uh, town kind of continues on the other side of it. Uh, looked like, I think, dirt roads, but I'm gonna walk around here. I've got time, well, I think I've got time, and I'm gonna stick around this area for the day and tonight so that I can have internet service and do a few things and then start heading to Alaska. I need to look at my timing. I have one month now before I need to be back in North Dakota. I wanna stop and see somebody in Anchorage. I wanna stop and see a couple people outside of Portland yet. So uh, I know time is going to move pretty fast from here on out. I think once I get to Alaska, I'm not going to be nearly as slow as I was on the dumpster. Um, but I won't know that till I get there, so I do need to be a bit cognizant. Four weeks isn't going to seem like that long in Alaska. There's a lot of ground to cover, so. And then a lot more to go all the way down to back to Oregon and then cross all the way over to North Dakota. But I'll have to figure that out. But for now, I'm just going to check out the sites like that boat there and I uh, see the Dawson General Store over there so I'll pop in there but just keep walking around check this out and uh, just see what they have to offer that there is the SS Kino and it was known as a stern wheeler which brought goods here along the banks of the Yukon there's lots of uh, boards along this walkway with all sorts of information about uh, Dawson City and gold and the lifestyles. Really cool area. There's the visitor center there. And this 
buses shot down the main street. So I just walked from down there up along this side of the road. And there's just something really cool about walking a wooden sidewalk. All right, so I just walked through town and I'm gonna head to the grocery store. Their prices are actually pretty reasonable for being out here. So I'm gonna pick up some snacks and see what else they have. But uh, I need to grab my bags out of the back because I think you have to pay for them here. So I'm going to stop here, and then I'm going to go visit the dredge. Uh, I'm not going to pay to go in it, but I want to see the outside of it. And then also, I am going to go up to a dome outlook area, or overlook area, and check that out. And then I think I can camp near there too. So that is my current plan for today. It is already 3 o'clock. So I want to get to the camp spot at an early time so that uh, I can make sure that it's available. I just read on iOverlander that um, it can be kind of busy. So uh, I'm going to hop in here real quick and get going. road to dredge number four and it's a really pretty drive it just turned into a dirt road about uh, two miles in i think i have about uh, five more miles to go claim 33 gold panning i'm going to stop into the souvenir shop but uh i know it's bothering people that I don't pan for gold, but it's just not something that I'm interested in. And uh, I mean, if I was with somebody and they wanted to do it, I would definitely do it, but uh, it's just not something I'm interested in doing on my own. It's a cool little setup they have here with all the old buildings. Look at that. Dredge 
station number four. This thing worked for 30 years and only moved half a mile in an eight month season. That's crazy. So I found my spot and I found it on iOverlander and it's outside the dome lookout which is over Dawson City. So that is the view out of my back hatch and it is really pretty. It was even nicer when uh, it was more of a blue sky but great area, nice breeze. Had a uh, few people, a um, couple of minivans pull up and told them that they could stay in this area. Uh, because there's plenty of room for a bunch of us and they're out there making a fire. They're going to make dinner But uh, I've got video to edit and some things to take care of and it's starting to get cold. So I am going to Probably close up here soon With the breeze going it's uh kind of chilly, but um Yes, yeah, so it was a nice day found this spot I was actually going to do the dome the dome overlook but after finding this spot which was uh, a mile maybe a bit more on some dirt roads up into this area, I decided that rather than uh, chance losing it, that I would just stay here and the weather's supposed to be like it is today. So tomorrow on the way out, I'll go to the Dome Overlook and, and take a look at that. Beyond that, I'm just gonna head out uh, through Dawson City and continue on the, I think it's top of the World Highway and hit the northern border entrance into Alaska. I still need to find out what towns are between here and there or on the other side of Alaska. I gotta map out my way to toke and to chicken but for now this is home it's beautiful um, it's a nice couple of days i'm gonna enjoy it 